April, yesterday at the White House press briefing with Sarah Sanders, you had this exchange. You asked a question. Uh, this is her answer. Uh, it's received a lot of buzz. I'm going to play the clip. Has the president at any time thought about stepping down before or now? Uh, no, and I think that's an absolutely ridiculous no, question. Not, ridiculous. I gave it's you two ridiculous. questions, April. Really? We're moving on. Jordan, go ahead. It's not ridiculous. Thanks, Jordan, go Thanks ahead. Sarah. Um, you said it was, we heard you say it's not ridiculous. So, so what, uh, A, prompted you to ask that question, and what's been the reaction? What prompted me, um, you know, as we all do, we have sources, we talk to people. And when you have a turmoil or conflicts constantly coming up or, or making major decisions or people are investigating you, there is always a scenario at the White House where there is plan A, B, C, D, or E, what have you. And it's on the table, and it has been on the table. And the issue is, and it's been on the table from what I'm hearing from my sources a while ago, the possible, there, that was one of the possibilities. So I asked that question in the midst of the fact that the president's personal attorney had his uh, properties raided to get, to get information from a search warrant about what is going on with Stormy Daniels and others in, in the trail of money. And this right now is, is, a, is a very tough time for the president. He's kind of backed in the corner because if he does pull the gun on certain things, it looks like he is uh, creating a constitutional crisis or he could be obstructing justice. And this is a situation where those questions we've seen, uh, those questions asked during Bill Clinton in impeachment proceedings, you were there, you were there. I mean, we've seen these things and we've heard of the history of Watergate. You know, Republicans came to Nixon and said, hey, either you resign or we go through impeachment proceedings. That is not illogical, irrational. It is a real question on the table that a White House does not want to deal with because they're trying to craft the picture, the winning image, and there is no winning picture at this moment. So what's been the reaction uh, that you've received since asking that question? The reaction has been very, um, you know, there are people who support, and, and this is, it's not about, the reason why I asked the question was not about Democrat or Republican. It was not a partisan thing. It was a reporter asking the question, but people have gone into their tribes and some are saying it was a great question, mostly um, people who do not support this president. And those who are supporting this president are outraged, are angry. I've been getting death threats and we've been calling the FBI. And I mean, I put one on social media and this is real. It's, I asked a simple question. I asked a question. I did not point a finger. I asked a question. And now my life is in jeopardy because of a question. But I'm going to continue to do my job. I know you are. Uh, and I hope everything is going to be all right. Oh, it will be. Uh, April, thanks very much uh, for all your expertise. I know you've been covering a lot of White Houses over the years. And you. you don't ask a question like that unless you have some reason to believe that it's a, it's a, it's a logical and good question. Appreciate it very much you. for your joining us, ladies. Mm -hmm.